Howdy partner, we are excited today to take you through this test of this new Ybot L1 corded pool cleaner. Our friends at Ybot sent us this pool cleaner and we are going to put it to the ultimate test on this large 35,000 gallon swimming pool. We're going to see how it cleans, we're going to get some underwater footage and we're going to take you through step by step how you work the app and everything else. So to show you a little unboxing, we'll do this real fast, but it comes nicely packaged and you've got all your instruction manual and your important tether. This HEPA filter will show you how that works as well as the corded unit. Now this corded unit plugs into the wall and then it connects right here to this low voltage cable. So you keep this out of the water and then this goes into the water with the cleaner. Now I can tell you right now, just looking at it, this is a substantial machine. This is a large cleaner which is what we probably need for this pool. If you've checked out this channel, we've done a lot of reviews on different pool cleaners. And with this large pool, I want to see how a corded robot pool cleaner will do. These are supposed to be really smart. And they're supposed to clean really, really well with the three different motors I believe this one has inside of it. So you've got this long 60 foot cord, I believe 60 feet. And then you've also got um, these treads and you've got these cleaners. All of the breeze that come through this opening right here and then it's going to come into a basket. Now this basket that the Ybot has is a large basket. And what I really like about this large basket for debris is that it has no lid. It's sealed on this seal that is part of the machine. And that should be really nice because that is going to, if that works, that's going to hold a huge amount of debris. I can't wait to test that out. Also what this one has is going to be this HEPA filter. So again, this is my first time really getting into it, but you put this filter in right here. It snaps in and then you get out the packaging. You throw this in and now you've got double filtration where it's getting those micro particles through this HEPA filter, as well as everything coming up through the bottom and getting trapped in this for larger debris. So really, really neat. I can tell you it's pretty heavy duty, pretty sturdy looking. We're going to take this and get it plugged in and walk you through the different settings. Now this can clean just the floor. It can clean the floor and the walls. It can clean the water line. You can tell it on the app to come on over and come on up to you when it's done. And what we did is we threw a bunch of debris into this pool. So as you can see, it's got a job in front of it. It's got a lot of debris to do. There's different cleaning cycles. You can put it on a schedule. You can do one hour, two hour, three hour. So we're going to put this in, see how it does, see how long it takes. Check it out. So we'll show you on the app how you can control it. But the Ybot has this main controller module here that you plug into the wall, and then you go ahead and you plug in a low voltage cord. So this should never enter the pool. This is safe to enter the pool, it's low voltage, but not this. You also have a safety tether here, and you wanna put this on something to make sure that this never enters the pool. I also probably would not recommend swimming with this plugged in. I don't know if that's necessary, but it's just a little extra safety feature. But you go ahead and you press this power button, and then we press the power button, you have different options. You have one hour, two hour, three hours, very, very easy. It connects to both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And then you have the different functions to do just the bottom, the sides, or the whole pool. You can do delayed start and all sorts of things, mainly on the, on the um, app. So we're gonna say three hours, we're gonna do the whole pool. And then once you're ready to get started, you're gonna press that power button again. Come on over to our Ybot. You can see it's fully powered on. It's got these lights here telling you it's ready to go. And we are going to lower it into the pool along with this long anti-kinking cord. And what you want to make sure is that you get all the air out of this. So you get all the air out of the Ybot. And let it sink on down to the bottom of the pool. So now it's going to know it's down there. And it's going to be ready to get started on cleaning the pool. So now you see that it is starting to run and it's actually blowing up enough power to reach all the way to the top of the pool. Well, that thing is getting along the sidewall and I think it's going to probably do the bottom first, although it may just be doing the entire sides. Climbing up onto our steps and that is no easy feat. That's got some power. Okay, well, we're going to let it clean for a little bit. And then we're going to also get some footage of it cleaning from underwater. That is some power coming out of that right now. And I don't know that I've ever had a pool cleaner reach the little entry area there. 
going over a couple steps. That's pretty impressive. Let's see how it does. As I was saying, you can use the manual controls or you can download this, this app. And then you go ahead and you take your Ybot L1, you can click it, and when it opens, you can connect through your Wi-Fi and you can pick how long you want to clean for, delay start, you can do timers, and really cool is you can hit this pickup thing, which goes ahead and lets the Ybot find a wall and come on up. So let's do that and let's pick it up. Check it's this out, like a well-trained dog, it came right back and it'll come up and it keeps uh, going up to the water line and that makes it really easy to take out. So we got it out of the water and you see it did a really nice job on the pool. Now we ran this twice. The first time we ran it on the entire pools and walls and everything, we emptied the basket and then went ahead and ran it again, just pick up anything left. And you'll see when you open this basket, it's got a lot of debris in here. And there's both large debris as well as small debris and just all sorts of stuff that got caught up by this nice netting. So pretty cool. We will keep using and testing this Ybot L1 throughout the rest of the season and into the fall when the leaves really start falling. Overall, it seems to work really, really well. We'll see how it does on durability, but it's a nice unit. It had no problem navigating this tricky pool with some steep ledges and stairs and everything else. Lots of power, nice capacity overall. Pretty cool. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for a bunch more pool tips and tricks and other general household how-to content. So, Hope you enjoyed this, and remember, if you've got any questions, put them in the comment box, and if I can do it, you can too. Thanks for watching.